someone I wanted to wrestle for a long time. I've looked up to him as a as an innovator of the style that I love to use. And he's been doing it for so long. He's literally been doing springboard shooting stars since I was two years old. And he's still going now. He's in the best shape of his life. So yeah, he's someone I really look up to. But um all that being said, I haven't been too happy with my performances recently, given I haven't picked up a win since my debut in progress. So I didn't come here to just be the, the young guy that's just happy to be here. I want to pick up wins. I don't want to get belts. And what way? What better way to get momentum than to beat British wrestling legend Jody Fleisch? Well, good luck. Thank you. And welcome back to Progress Wrestling, Chapter 113. And a big win there for the big money gun dogs. Now, on to our next contest, we've got a little bit of a clash of styles. Let's bring our wrestlers. Roy, you get double pay for hosting Progress and the Wavy Awards. <laughs> you get double pay for hosting the Wavy Awards. Molly, you can do a plus one. Thanks, bud. And Roy's got to do the loot to it, folks. Clash of styles here. A clash I'm very much looking forward to. Especially after his peaking performance last chapter. Very impressive debut performance. Dean Allmark has arrived in Progress Wrestling. It wasn't just a victory in his debut, it was a victory over Chris Ridgway. Kind of smashed it, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> he smashed Smash Mouth. Here we go, boys. Shaw Mambo himself. So incredibly easy to see. The Sunshine Machine not in tag team action right now. Chuck Mambo representing the team going up against Dean Allmark, the gnarliest wrestler on the planet. Chill Mitchell, the high chief of Moby. <laughs> This is a bop, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a jam. That was a jam. So uh, actually nominated for a Wavy Award for the soundtrack. The falling contest. It's scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, standing in the corner to my left, hailing from somewhere in the country, weighing in at a lean, mean, 90 kilos, he is. One half of Sunshine Machine, Chuck Mambo! And his opponent, standing in the corner to my right, hailing from the Wirral via Stoke on Trent, weighing in at 13 stone. He is the star with the smile. Dean Omark! Oh, yeah, Still showing respect there from uh, Mambo. The one man crowd is, uh, yeah. is going wild. It's a two man crowd there because Mambo was cheering as well. It's a nice touch. Nice touch. I like it. I can get behind that. Here we go. And for Dean Omark in his second match in progress. I mean, like this is a co it. completely different challenge from Ridgeway to Mambo. But it's no, uh, yeah, it's definitely no easy route no, to the top no. for Dean Allmark. You know, Chuck Mambo, the, I guess we can say the longest tenured member of the uh, Progress roster, dating all the way back to 2013, he made his debut here. There's some, some techers. Wrist control from Dean Allmark. Oh, look at this. Mambo showing he's got some... Uh, some grappling oh. abilities as well. Well, Chuck Mambo was trained by Eddie Dennis, you know. True, true, true. Part, so he definitely knows how to tie somebody up like the best. Of it's kind of nice to see it come out, though. Definitely. Um, just because it's kind of in the wheelhouse doesn't mean you always get to utilize it. But I think when you, you know when you're competing against a, a technical wizard like Dean Mark, you need you need to have your, yeah, you need to show that side. Yeah. Out. Especially if Dean's going to take the take the lead, as it were. And <laughs> start things off with some some uh, some grappling. 
for this. Oh, in and out. Shake it all about, and just like that, into the side headlock takeover. Floats through into the leg control. Floats through into a pin attempt. There we go. Two, I thought it was going to be a side headlock, but went for the pin attempt. My God, the incredibly long legs of Chandler. That's insane. It's one of those things where, like, Chuck Manuel, you know, six foot three, tallest member of the roster. It's anybody can win a wrestling match, you know, big guys, small guys, ones the size of your head, whatever. But you can't deny the massive advantage that that fight gives it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially in those situations of those pin attempts, you have to have your ring positioning spot on to keep your opponent as far as uh, far away from the ropes as possible. And I think if anyone's going to have that knowledge, it's going to be Dean Ormark. Something we didn't touch on in uh, Dean Ormark's debut match, his composure is fantastic. Oh, absolutely. He, he, let's be real, he was getting seven shades kicked out of him by Chris Ridgway, one of the hardest strikers in professional wrestling period, and was able to keep very calm. Oh, look at this. Speaking of being calm. Oh, floats over. Coach TK was not listened to there. Mambo no. ran in. Cartwheel escape. Off the ropes again. Whoa, oh, look at this. Hurricane Whoa. Rana, Rana takedown. Oh, and a standing. Stand up with one, two. Standard moves as well for extra measure. Well, why not? Such a flurry. Yep. Such a flurry of offense. Such flurry, very offense. Oh. I think Dean Allmark knows every move, and then a couple of them that don't even exist. <laughs> well, judging on what we saw uh, against Ridgeway, there is definitely a few that uh, that neither you or I have ever seen. Blew my mind, you know, that ruby cutter, that clash driver. Things not seen here in progress before, and that's why we're so excited to have him here. Very stiff uppercuts Ooh. there. Again, we saw this in the match against Ridgeway. Yeah. Oh, and there's that rapid fire palm strikes. But quickly cut off by Allmark. And Mambo leg trapped. Oh, springboard back elbow. Flew almost half over halfway across the ring. And we're back in control. And pushed it into that corner. And Olmark but out of the way. Whoa! Flying forearm. Effortless. Could be looking for that reef break, but no. Oh, picks Whoa. him up. Oh, tip to well, backbreaker. Into the pin, one, two. Kick out at two. Speaking of offense, we don't see often, wow. And I think it's going to be hard for Mambo right now, kind of readapting from that from the tag mindset that we that he's been in recently with the Sunshine Machine coming into play, and now going one on one. I mean, granted, TK's at ringside, but but it's a completely different style inside that ring, right? It's definitely different. Um, you know, in a tag team match, you can let your tank go empty because you can, you know, go for that massive flurry, becoming completely exhausted, make that tag, and you've got a little two minute breather, five minute breather. You can put it all on the line as almost like a sacrifice for your partner. Mambo has to rest in a completely different style because you have to conserve that tank. You can never truly be at zero unless it's the final move of the match, and you never really know it's the final move of the exactly. match. Exactly. But you've got to think that TK Cooper being at ringside for Chuck Mamba right now, that's the wind in his sails right there. Definitely. Um, the support system that these two have is fantastic. The potential submission attempts. Can Mambo lock those, lock those hands? Can he lock it in? Those extra few inches definitely help them. Absolutely. Where does Dean Allmark go from here? Oh, able, to, able to get a, a leg loose and able to get out of that one. Turns him inside out. Could be a repeat. And again, up to oh, oh, that's what I'm saying. Slams him down face first. Two. Kick out at two. Oh. Could this be that Mambo, knowing that he has been in that tag mode for so long, is looking to put this away because he's tentative about that tank. Big springboard up to the top. Oh, but no water in the pool. I mean, I don't think anybody really looks to... Looks to prolong a match longer than it needs to be you, I mean, you, you want to put it to bed as soon as you can don't get me wrong you're right but you see that with Dean Allmark
being that composed. He knows he can let you touch. You know, it's, it's like a boxer, right? 